Are you okay? You have been running around frantically for an hour now. Would I be wrong in assuming that you're trying to look for something? Your hoodie? Don't you have like hundreds of hoodies you can wear? Well, why do you need that specific white one? They're all just hoodies. Oh, you need that one because of that date you're going on today. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Yeah, I completely forgot about that date you were going on. Completely slipped my mind. I'm guessing it's something really casual then if you're wearing a hoodie. Ah, oh, that's nice. So you're going on a little walk and getting something to eat after. Yeah, very casual indeed. Seems like that would be nice. You can just wear any hoodie for that though. The white one is your nicest hoodie. <laughs> Well, I guess you should have had this all planned the night before instead of rushing around in the last 30 minutes before you need to leave. You really haven't learned your lesson about that, have you? <laughs> Dude, shh. Calm down. No need to panic and get all moody at me. I'm aware this is very frustrating for you. So, where do you last remember wearing this hoodie? If I knew I would have found it. Yeah, okay, you got me there. I'll just shut up since I'm not being very helpful. Good luck on finding that hoodie, but I really would suggest taking a look at the other 20 hoodies you have there in the closet if all else fails. <laughs> you want me to help you look? Um, no thanks. I'm too busy right now lying in my comfy bed and browsing Twitter. You're on your own, buddy. <laughs> No, no. Don't even threaten to take my blanket away and drag me to help. No way. Don't even think about it. No, I, I swear. If you take this blanket off me, I'm going to be so mad. <gasps> it's not what it looks like. This most definitely isn't your hoodie. This is my hoodie. My white hoodie that just so happens that we have the same one. Excuse me, I did not take it. I bought it last winter. You just didn't notice. It is mine, okay? It's mine. Not every white hoodie in the world is yours, you know? They're not unique to mankind or something, no. Wait, what the hell? Are you trying to sniff me? Get away! Get away from me! No! No! Oh my god! No! No, oh. oh, it tickles! Please stop! It tickles! It tickles so bad! Stop! Stop! Okay, 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 surrender! Oh god. Good job, Sherlock. Oh, you cracked the case. Yes, this is your hoodie, and I am wearing it. Uh, nice observation. It is your smell of sweat and aftershave. And I'm not that down bad to try and argue that it's my smell, though. <laughs> um, 
I'm sorry for stealing your hoodie and hiding it from you while you looked for it, okay? Please don't be too mad at me. I'll explain and then I'll give you the hoodie and you can go on your nice little date, okay? You still have plenty of time to hear me out before you go. Please. So, um, when you told me a few weeks ago that you were going on a date with that girl you met on that app, and that you were planning what to wear, and you said the white hoodie, uh, uh, yeah, um, I didn't forget about the date at all, that was... All an act to not look suspicious, of course, which failed, <laughs> but anyway, I thought it was a good idea to steal the hoodie and wear it under the blanket in plain sight, hoping that you would not end up going on the date, because I knew it was your favorite hoodie. I know, it sounds awful. I'm so sorry. I didn't know what got into me. It sounds really cruel now recalling it back, so... I understand how mad you must be, and... I overstepped boundaries and broke numerous roommate codes. Why did I do it? Really? Is it really not obvious to you? I really don't want you to go on that date because... Because if you did, then... Maybe they would become your girlfriend and then you would spend less time with me and I... I just really enjoy having you around. But I know that's really selfish of me to think like that. I know you're kind of smirking right now and giving me that face because I act like I hate having you around and joke how stinky you are. <laughs> but I really do love your company and I would hate to have less of it. A fae girlfriend got in the way, <laughs> just imagining her coming over to the apartment, walking around as if she owns the place, and I'd just be sitting here eating potato chips on the couch, third wheeling as you guys are making out, making me all jealous. Sounds like my worst nightmare. Oh yeah? Maybe that sounds great for you, <laughs> but could you imagine if I came home with a boyfriend and we were walking all over the place doing that? Don't act like that would not be so awkward for you. Really? You'd be fine with it. Oh, seems to you I sound just jealous? Oh, jealous. You think I'm jealous. <laughs> well, I wouldn't call it jealous. I'd call it looking after fellow roommates. Yeah, that's exactly what it's called. And I wouldn't want my roommate to get hurt one day, because I'd have to deal with you being all sad boy hours and stuff, and I just don't like seeing you that way, you know? I just enjoy how things are right now between us. We are in a really good place. I just don't want other people coming into our apartment and messing us up in the future somehow. I'm talking weird? Do you really think so? 
Well, if I told you a few days ago that I was in love with you, all hypothetical speaking, would you have still gone on the date with that girl today? You don't know? Well, what if I'm being totally serious right now that I do love you a lot? After hearing that, do you still want to go see that girl today? I know, I know. It's confusing for you right now. I'm sorry for just throwing this all on you right now. It's not nice of me. But that's the reason why I did all of this inexcusable stuff today, like steal the hoodie. I just really, really want you. But if you don't feel the same way, I understand. And I accept. And I'll happily take off this hoodie right now and give it to you. But, um, I don't recommend you wearing that anyway because it really needs to be washed. If I had to suggest something you should wear on the date, though, I personally really like the black hoodie. You look really good in black. Like, really. I think the black one looks so much better on you. And trust me. I go weak at the knees when I see you in that color. <laughs> You're not sure if you want to go now? Oh. I'm sorry that I ruined your mood and you don't want to go now, but... I don't regret telling you my feelings for you. It's up to you how you want to deal with this, and I'll give you all the time in the world you need to process this. Um, do you want this hoodie back, though, or...? I can keep wearing it? Thanks. <laughs> Whoa, you're even giving it to me? Thank you so much. Uh, this hoodie was always so comfy. <laughs> yes, I do like wearing your hoodies, okay? <laughs> See? That's another reason why I can't let you get a girlfriend, because then she'll take the hoodies, and I'm not sharing them. Unless, like, I'm the girlfriend, of course, but we'll see, right? But since you're not going on the date now and you cancelled it, do you want to do anything today? Just me and you, as usual? <laughs> or have I made it really, really, really awkward between us now? Well, of course you can join me in my bed for sure. <laughs> Have you already made your mind up about us then, or...? I guess, I guess you like me back. Don't tell me we liked each other this whole time and we never just said. <laughs> oh my god. That's so funny. <laughs> I stand by it now that I am in fact 
Really? Not sorry that I stole your hoodie, or else this whole thing wouldn't be happening right now. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Come closer. I really want to hug you and just wrap my legs around you. <laughs> so much more comfier. I can just fall asleep with you right now. <laughs> oh my god. We should totally like move our beds together now if that totally means we are an item. Like, uh, <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah. 